Welcome to the Get Published Podcast, sponsored by Birdie Consulting Group. To get more information about our coaching, publishing, executive ghostwriting, and podcast production services, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. Welcome to the Get Published Podcast. My name is Paul Brody, and I am proud to serve as your host. And today we are going to do a recap of our 2021 Get Published Summit. So the summit has now wrapped up. We are done. And we ended up with 31 sessions overall. 31. We had an opening session, a closing session, and then 29 interviews. And it was a lot of work, but it was also a lot of fun. I have now put on multiple summits in addition to this summit. I also did the 2020 Get Published Summit and also Virtual Summit University with Ray Brem. And I tell you, one of the best things about doing these summits is the opportunity to connect with other authors, with other people that have had similar journeys that have really taken their business to the next level. And a lot of those conversations, they turned into friendships. That's one of the other nice benefits when you do have these type of events. And people ask me often, you know, really, what is a virtual summit? Well, my answer is, if you have listened to a podcast episode, just consider it a enhanced podcast with video. And it's just having that conversation. And I was really proud with some of the things that we covered during the Get Published Summit this past week. We had Jonathan Green on. He talked about how to turn readers into clients. Scott Allen talked about how to create an effective writing habit. Honoré Quarter talked about continuous marketing for your book. Dave Chesson talked about great tools for authors and publishers, where he has a ton of great tools on Kindlepreneur.com, several of which I use. Now, one of them is a paid tool called Publisher Rocket, but I utilize his free online HTML generator for book descriptions and also editorial reviews for our clients. So there's a lot of great resources on there that are no cost. Mark Recklau talked about how he generates over $25,000 per month in book royalties using Amazon ads. He has zero clients. He just focuses on his own books. And he typically spends two hours every single day creating new ads and then also tweaking the ads that he has. Tyler Wagner talked about how to create long-term partnerships. And then we also talked about pubby.co, P-U-B-B-Y.co, which is a company that can help you get book reviews quickly and legally. So it's very interesting. I will tell you for my book, Virtual Summit Secrets, we have actually generated now over 20 reviews by utilizing Pubby over the past month. Now we had Gon Kalk on talking about um, virtual events to grow your author business, kind of like what we're talking about today with the podcast. Matt Stone for Buck Books, we talked about OPP, other people promoting, and which is also a big part of how virtual summits work. Because what happens is you don't spend any money for marketing. What happens is the speakers are the ones that promote the event. And it's great. I always refer to it as the Tom Sawyer effect. You're familiar with that story where Tom Sawyer had to paint the fence and he got other people to do it for him. Very similar to this. And they paid him for the privilege. And that is what happened with our summit. Because our summit generated over $14,000 in revenue. In addition to that, we added th- over 3,400 new subscribers. And one of the things that we also did was invite all of our attendees to attend a live webinar that I'm doing with Ray. And by the time you're listening to this, it may or may not have completed. So what happened was at noon central time, today, Tuesday, March the 2nd, Ray and I actually doing a session called Virtual Summits for Authors. And you can go to the Get Published, sorry, not the Get Published system. It's actually, you have to forgive me, we have a lot of different systems. It's actually the virtualsummitsystem.com slash GPS21. So it is the virtualsummitsystem.com slash GPS21. You can also catch the replay on the virtualsummitsystem.com where what's happened is right now we have over 191 people that have registered for it. And we're going to talk about how you can utilize virtual summits for your business and your brand. And there's no pitch. There's no sales thing at the end. The only thing that we do is invite people to take part 
in a strategy session if they would like to. It's complimentary. We just want to know about their summit. And if they need additional help, great. And if not, no problem. We've had a great conversation. But that's what connects to other people promoting is when you have a virtual summit, the speakers are the ones that are actually doing the promoting. Uh, John Tig talked about taking imperfect action, where just get the book out there, right? He talks about why all authors should take imperfect action immediately to get their books out in the world. Mark Gaberti talked about how he has published over 30 books before he turned 30 years old. Alinka Rutoska talked about how to become a USA Today Wall Street Journal bestselling author this year with a service that she provides. Mary O'Donoghue talked about getting media publicity, and she is an Oprah Show veteran. And she shares how to get media publicity to promote your book and brand for the long term. And for those of you that did miss the summit, you can still go to the getpublishedsummit.com. We are still offering the premium pass. So if you click on there, there's a limited time offer. So if you would like to grab the premium pass, you still have that opportunity where you can catch these sessions. Kat Wanders, our expert editor, talked about why you should invest in editing. And she also talks about the most common mistakes authors make when... They're writing their book. Derek Depker talked about engaging with your email list and turning subscribers into clients. He also covers how to connect with influencers effectively for those long-term business relationships. Michelle Culp talked about how she's written 12 books in the past year. Brian Burney, we took a deep dive into Amazon and BookBub ads. If you are trying to figure out how to promote your book for the long-term, that's the way to do it. Check out Brian Burney's session. Check out my session with Mark Recklow and with Alex Strathy because spe specifically with those experts, we talked about Amazon ads. And then with Brian, we talked about Amazon ads and also BookBub ads. Ray Brem, we talked about virtual summits for authors. Jen Stevens, we talked about leveraging a huge Facebook community and how she became a New York Times best-selling author. Anita talked about the benefits of taking part in multi-author book collaborations Ashley Emma talked about the riches in the niches and about niching down your book and the main differences with building an author business in fiction versus nonfiction. Gundy Gabrielle talked about how to turn your books into a six-figure passive income machine. And she talks about how she generated multiple six figures in royalties with her focus on passive income and also the program that she has. Sheriff Mark Lamb talked about how he turned his book into the foundation of his own business platform and how you can do the same thing. He has a Twitter and Facebook following of over 300,000 highly engaged subscribers. Full disclosure, Mark's a client of mine, him and his lovely wife, Janelle, being amazing clients. And I had the privilege to help them with their books. And it's a great conversation about how you can really leverage an audience. Sean Joel, another one of our clients, he talked about how to build an audience before launching your first book. So we helped Sean with his summit first before he did his first book because we wanted him to be able to build his audience quickly. Karen Fiara talks about increasing sales through book illustrations and how you can utilize that for fiction books, nonfiction, children's books. You can utilize illustrations for anything. Derek Kenny talked about creating a partnership model with getting on media. And Derek's on local media here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area all the time. And he does this by creating a partnership model. He also covers how he used the same partnership model to launch his new podcast. And within weeks, he had guests like Matthew McConaughey, Damon John, Michael Hyatt, Michael Gerber, and Peter Shankman. Great conversation, especially if you're wanting to utilize media opportunities. Scott Miller talked about writing your book with a proven system. He talks about writing shorter books which is something we are in both agreement with, and shares his book writing system to help you finish your books. Hence, it's a lot of post-its. Scott also talks about why shown vulnerability is critical to the success of your book to connect with your readers. Alex Strathby, we talked about Amazon Ads 101 and making that commitment every day to create ad campaigns because that's really one of the keys is to be able to do that consistently on a daily basis. Derek Murphy, Talks about guerrilla marketing and publishing tactics for nonfiction and fiction books. Now, this interview went just south of an hour. It was a long session, but we covered everything. And the value that Derek gave was incredible. He covered a focus on guerrilla marketing and guerrilla publishing, all those different tactics for your book. 
He also covers additional topics, including why you should still have a blog. That's right, why you should still have a blog on your website and what you should have in nonfiction and fiction covers for maximum conversion. It was a great and wide-ranging conversation. Ray Brem, we did a bonus session with Ray about the co-author project and how you can take part. Ray does a lot of multi-author book collaborations, and I think he's one of the absolute best with this. So Ray talked about that, and he also had a special offer for attendees with a book that he is launching. Then we talked about closing session. So in the final session, I recap GPS, and I had a lot of people ask for me to cover a little bit about my own journey and about next step. So that's exactly what we did. It was like a hybrid session, a lot of fun. And then we also talked about the webinar that we are doing at noon today, Tuesday, Central Time. So if you want to check that out, you can go to the virtualsummitsystem.com slash GPS21 or just go to the virtualsummitsystem.com if you miss it because we are going to put the replay on there as well. So I know we've covered a lot of information. Uh, Thursday, we're going to have one more solo cast and then we are back to doing guest interviews. But as always, when we're starting our new season up, I always like to do a few solo casts to let you guys know what's going on because I will tell you, if I was to start over, I would start over with a virtual summit. I cannot emphasize the value in this because we generated over 14,000 in revenue with this summit. We were able to add 3,400 plus actively engaged subscribers to our email list. We we're able to have a webinar where we already have over 191 people registered. This is the power of connection. This is the power of positioning yourself as the host, as the Oprah, so to speak, in the industry, it really is a game changer. So if you want more information, you can go to the virtualsummitsystem.com slash GPS21 or just go to the virtualsummitsystem.com and catch the replay. So on Thursday, we're going to cover exactly how you can do this. So I've given you a lot of numbers, but on Thursday, I'm going to show you exactly how you can grow your business and grow your audience at warp speed with a virtual summit. So as always, I wish you all the best in your journey ahead. Thanks again for joining us today. To learn more about how to get your book published with a proven system that works, grab a free copy of my book at getpublishedpodcast.com.